In this video, we're going to look at how to find the equation of a tangent line to a curve at a point. So in the previous video, we looked at how to calculate the gradient of a curve at a point, And we found out that this gradient is exactly the gradient of the tangent line. So what we're looking for now is we're looking for the actual equation of the tangent line. Now, being a linear equation, we know that it has to take the form y equals mx plus c. So let's look at how we calculate this on our calculator. So up to this point in time, we've been using Scratchpad for everything. But now we're going to use documents because there's one key functionality missing in Scratchpad that we need for this analysis. So instead of hitting Scratchpad, this time we hit option number one, new document, and we add graphs, option number two. So this display is very similar to the graphical display in Scratchpad. It's almost identical, except we have some more functionality with it. So we're going to input our equation. It's the same as in the video before, so it's x squared minus 2x minus 5. So there's the graph that we're looking to analyze and that we want to get these tangent lines on. Before we go off and calculate the equation of the tangent line at x equals 3, it's going to be a lot easier if we already have the gradient at x equals 3 input onto the graph. We'll see in a minute why that's the case. So we're going to go to menu, we're going to go analyze graph, option number 5 dy dx, and we're going to choose x equals 3. So now we've got the gradient equal to 4 at the point x equals 3, and more importantly we have the point of tangency on the graph. This is going to make it a lot easier to get the equation of the tangent line. So now we go into menu, we choose option number 8, which is our geometry settings. This is the new functionality that we have in documents that we did not have in Scratchpad. Now we choose points and lines. I'm going to choose option number eight, tangent. Now what we have to do here is we have to use the trackpad in order to choose the point of tangency that we want. So first we're going to select the graph that we want the point of tangency on. So that's obviously f of one. And now we're going to choose the point that we want the tangent at. So this is very easy because we already have the point on the graph. So we just hit it and straight away up pops the equation of the tangent line. So if we just move it out of the way, we can see it better. We can see it's y is equal to 4x minus 14. Okay, so let's go and try and get the equation of the tangent line at x equals minus 2. So menu, geometry, points and lines, tangent. And now I'm going to click on the graph. And now I have to find the point where x equals minus 2. So we know it's approximately somewhere around here, but it's very, very difficult to get exactly where x equals minus two in order to get my tangent line. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna have that point already on the graph to make it easier for me to select the correct tangent line. So we're gonna escape out of this, and we're gonna put the point on the graph first. So analyze graph, dy dx, what position do we want to that? We want it at minus two. There we go, and now we're gonna go and get the equation of the tangent line at that point. So geometry option number eight, points and lines, tangent, choose my graph, and then choose the point where I want the tangent line. Up pops my equation straight away. And again, we'll just move it out of the way so we can see it very clearly. It's y equals minus six x minus nine. Another thing to note is we can clearly see that both of the equations of the tangent lines have the correct gradient y equals mx plus c. The m in the first case is four, and the second case it's minus six. And that's exactly what our equations are giving us, so we know we've done things correctly.